Spring should be a time when things blossom. Happiness, rebirth. Instead, this year, I'm tormented. All you have to do is look at me. I haven't shaved for three days. I haven't slept for three days. I'm at wit's end. I am totally tormented. What am I tormented by? An animal. An animal many regard as being cute. A chipmunk. Not this kind of chipmunk. This is how most people view a chipmunk. <laughs> My wife calls them rats with racing stripes. This is how I see Mr. Chipmunk. I'm gonna kick your butt, Gregory Bryant. Sometimes I think I should resort to extreme measures. I don't think my neighbors would be very happy with that solution. First he ate all the peas I planted in my garden. Then he tunneled under my lettuce. He dug that up. Then he went into my flowers. He dug those up. Then there was the lawnmower incident. What the? Whoa. Darn you! <laughs> Come with me as you take a rare glimpse into the world of Mr. Chipmunk. Through the miracle of technology, I have a microphone here, and we will eavesdrop into Mr. Chipmunk's world. Let's listen. Is that all we have are peas? Pea souffle, pea cutlets, pea soup, pea and cheese sandwiches. Go out and find us some bean seeds, some asparagus, tomatoes, anything but peas. It's been two weeks since I've seen Mr. Chipmunk. I have absolutely no idea where he is. Not that I'm that worried, but I kind of got to like the guy a little bit, maybe. Not a lot, just, just a little. You know, sort of a through a game, you know, it's a challenge. I've been sort of wondering, really, what happened? What happened to Mr. Chipmunk? Izzy? Izzy, do you know what happened to Mr. Chipmunk? Izzy? Uh. Izzy? <laughs>